Have you ever carried and brought your own food with you while you were in abroad? Well, have you ever been to a stock farm immediately after your trip abroad? Korea has border quarantine at the airport or port to prevent the influx of foreign animal infections such as food and mouth disease, highly pathogenic avian influenza, and African swine fever. Most livestock and raw fruits are not imported. Major restricted items include meats such as beef, pork, lamb, processed meats such as jerky, sausage, ham, jangjorin, agricultural products such as raw fruits, vegetables, nuts, and plants such as seeds and seedlings. These items are also restricted to international mail. Also, you should be careful not to bring in restricted items such as livestock and raw fruits if you invite your family such as your parents. If you do not report animal or plant items brought in by hand, you will be fined up to 5 million won. People who work in stock farms are prohibited from entering farm and livestock shed for five days after the overseas trip. Also, wash your clothes that you were wearing while you were on your overseas trip right after entering Korea and please take care of personal hygiene such as taking showers. Also, you should wear working clothes and boots for farm work and sterilize your shoes when entering the livestock shed. You are a quarantine officer who makes Korea a clean country. Recently in Korea, due to frequent occurrences of natural disasters, such as earthquakes and floods, evacuation tips have become increasingly important. And this time, we will learn more about how to evacuate in the event of an earthquake. When an earthquake occurs, there is a large vibration for only about one or two minutes, so you need to protect yourself during this time to minimize any damage. When you are indoors, hide your body under a sturdy table and protect your head with a cushion. At this time, keep doors open in order to secure exit, and after the large vibration stops, Evacuate to a vacant area such as a wide open space or a nearby park. When you evacuate, do not use the elevator, rather go out using the stairs. When you are outdoors, protect your head with your back because you may get injured from pieces of window glass or a falling signboard. In addition, if an earthquake occurs while you are in a place where there are many people, such as a department store or a subway, you need to act calmly according to instructions or announcements by staff members. If an earthquake occurs on the coastal areas, you may need to evacuate to a higher place quickly because a tsunami can occur in succession. Since an earthquake occurs without warning, it is important to act immediately depending on the situation of your surroundings. We hope that migrants will also pay attention to earthquake disaster tips and minimize damage. At MN TV, we receive video clips about accident and incident as well as news report related to immigrants. If you'd like to report, please call us or contact us via email.